really important that growers check their crops now because as we head into spring and the temperatures start rising, as they're doing now, we have this scenario where they can absolutely explode um, in populations. And so what, what conditions are sort of the worst cases for insect pressure? And aphids are no, um, are no different. It's basically warm temperatures and, and relatively dry conditions. This, this is what we saw earlier in the season. Um, and this is what we'll see in, as we head into spring when um, the canola canopies start drying out um, and certain pests, um, particularly aphids, become an increasing problem. So they're very much dependent on temperatures. Anywhere from sort of 20 to 27 are really ideal temperatures for aphid reproduction. And they can produce in excess of sort of 10 aphids a day. And so it's an exponential growth in ideal conditions. And that's really what hammers plants and can cause um, flower abortion, reduced seed set, reduced quality, shifts in oil content in the seed and these sorts of things. Cabbage and turnip aphids are the culprits in terms of really causing damage to crop. And why they're important is because when they, particularly when they infest a crop at early flowering and they start causing flower abortion, that um, automatically starts causing yield loss, um, particularly in stressed plants. So in terms of being able to identify what aphid species you're dealing with in a particular crop. The first thing to note is that aphids are very small and so generally what we suggest is that you use um, either a hand lens, at least a 10 times hand lens. Um, or what we're using a lot more these days is actually a clip-on mobile phone um, lens and the, reasons the reason why that um, is becoming increasingly popular is you can take that photo and send it straight through um, one of our reporter apps such as the PestFax reporter, send it directly to us if you're unsure, or even if you think you might be sure, at least you can get a second opinion. Being able to know what sort of threshold we have before a particular pest is going to be economically damaging is really important for us to know. So any, any sort of threat, any, any sort of um, infestation level before that threshold, we can say as a best bet threshold, it's very likely to not be that worthwhile to spray if we're seeing those lower levels. So through quite a lot of GRDC funded research we've conducted in the past, I uh, mentioned that um, we've sort of developed a best bet threshold for canola aphids, and this is for winter spring, for uh, cabbage and turnip aphids, that generally 20% of plants infested um, with aphids on the, on the branches is the, the threshold that we generally work with. Um, in terms of chemical control, we have two active ingredients that are registered for aphids in canola, and that's perimicarb um, and sulfoxiflora. So we've only just in the last, I think, four weeks released a new app called Crop Scout, looking at how are they distributed in a crop and how does that actually affect our sampling accuracy. So every plant that you inspect um, will be can be mapped. And so after you've done a number of these surveys around a, around a particular crop, and then apply that to, to multiple crops. Later, you can have a look, look at the map and see exactly where um, aphids were above threshold, below threshold. So the idea is really to see if we can steer away from um, random inaccurate sampling, being able to actually visualize what's going on at any time in a map, and then see if we can target, target those um, management activities.